That. Now that's a good one. That's a real good one. I clipped in that thick stuff like the we were talking about in the, under that blanket. Flipped that pocket crawl in there made by net bait before he left with it. I uh, hear to you. To the point he done swam out here before I got to set the hook. Dang, that's a good fish. Yeah, he's heavy. Thank you. Good job. And you called it too. You said we need to get closer. There's a spring up in there, you said? Yeah, there's a... Water temperature would be more consistent. There's a spring back up in there, and uh, a lot of fish move in there to spawn, but as well, that spring water coming out, because spring water normally stays a constant temperature, which is anywhere from 72 to 76, so... And that's way warmer than the than the water temperature is right now, so right. that water flow coming out of there is warmer than this water, so you know, it just gets them started, gets them, gets them in the mood. I hear you. Hold that bait up. Well, I got all the salad on there with it. Yeah, I got a good picture of that. That's a that's a good flipping bait, huh? Yeah, this pocket crawl, these, these little legs, they really make a make a lot of vibration when they break through that vegetation, so. Be careful, baby. Be careful now. Come here. Look at that. All right. Tag gone. I told you I have caught see these stumps right here. It's like an old spillway. And that is what we came here to catch. I heard that. Thank you, big girl. I'm going to let you grow up. I'm sorry I couldn't get the camera on you earlier, baby. I'm sorry you didn't catch it. No, 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 no. I'd rather my honey catch them. Thank you. I think, wait, hold up just a second. That one might be a little bit smaller than them three I caught this morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, girl. <laughs>
watch it go. Let's bring her in out of my hometown of Bainbridge, Georgia. stage is something else, isn't it? It was, it was awesome. I, I, I hate to keep using that word, but I don't know how else to describe it. Hey, awesome's a pretty good word. I got, <laughs> I got no gripe with awesome. I think if I ever had a chance to take a lap in that thing with a flag and having all the cheering fans, I would, uh, I'd be stuck for a word better than awesome. Oh, it, I, you know, when we first pulled off and, and people started clapping and then we, we had gone about 30 feet and people started standing up and actually calling my name. You know, I'm just a country girl, so to have that happen, you know, I was I was harder than cloud nine. Everybody tells me, and I don't. It's hard to compile stats because you fish so many different circuits. That you've won more money as a, a woman professional angler than any other woman. Yes, sir. Any ballpark idea on what that number might be? The last accounts I had, it was a little over four hundred thousand. Very impressive, man. That's amazing. 
Hey folks, let's give a hand to the WBT championship winner, Pam Martin Wells. Got this on? This ain't fair, you front in me again. That one I just caught, but swallow this one. Love <laughs> it though. That's alright though. That gummit. You're they catching eat. them. They eat them on the crank. Yes, they are. <laughs> Buddy, you better go hide because this thing I just caught would eat you. Let me see. <laughs> That's all right. We're actually sitting in the old creek channel. 11 and a half feet. And like I said, that, that row right there used to be the dam. So it, it, it makes a good little ledge. The flow's going that way, so this comes in and it hits that bank. Yeah. yeah. And it stacks up all the bait fish and stuff. And, and two, it's uh, with all that timber up there, it's a good place for these fish to stay because I don't know if you can see behind us, but there's a place, you know, there's places all around that they can be in. So. So that's a good staging area because you got the creek channel right here. It makes a point right there. It's got a little bit of everything. I'll tell you what's the truth. You really got to be good to catch a fish that big on a bait. That big. Or let me rephrase that. Catch a fish that small on a bait that big. Now what in the world was he thinking? He was thinking he was hungry, wasn't he? I just want you to look. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't, I don't think you can laugh at my little one this morning anymore. The bait is more than half as long as this beach. But since part of my last name's Martin, I'm gonna pretend like I'm Roland Martin and go, Son, look at the size of that. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't right. I have fun and I ain't right. <laughs> and 
No, I'm no kin to Roland Martin. What you got, baby? Get him in here. No, he ain't. Look at there. You caught him in the cabbage. Cabbage stems and I about couldn't get him out. Is that the cabbage patch fish? <laughs> Say that five times real fast. <laughs> the cabbage patch fish. That's a good one. Yeah, it is. I saw one swimming a while ago about three times at me. I saw that fish too, and he's bad as I can see, and I could see it. Looked like a submarine. Yep. Good job, honey. He ain't near as big as he acts like he is. I must have him hooked in the tail. <laughs> he looks like he's gonna beat you. Oh, it's a giant. <laughs> Look how wide he is. Cold as ice. Yep. It ain't much, but it's a start. <laughs> That'll work. You need some pliers? Well, let me see. Really good hooks, huh? Yeah, I better get me some pliers and ease it on out of them just a little bit. No, it don't hurt him. Just a baby. <laughs> about them baits. See, I ain't got nothing like that back here. That's a secret. Uh, and that is my lipstick. Diet green. Hmm. Does it match your shirt? No. No. I clash. <laughs> well, you said it was green, T. But my secret? We will show you my secret. My secret? JJ's match. Oh. 
Oh, see, now I don't have any of that back here. That's your problem. Hmm. Hmm. What these, these are Italian fish. <laughs> okay. Because they like garlic. Because huh. this has so much garlic in it, it will knock you down. But I dip the tail of my bait. Is that why they put it in a glass bottle? Yeah. <laughs> See, I dip the tail of my bait. And at some point, we're going to show you, hopefully, brim and little bitty brim and stuff, their tail is bright chartreuse. Yep. They're right. So when these bass are up here shallow like this, trying to spawn or they're protecting their bed or they're just downright hungry. Chartreuse, a little bit of green. That's what I'm doing. Chart but, chartreuse and garlic. But they're Italian. <laughs> I hear you. Well, let's catch one. Baby, well, you got a giant, don't you? No, he ain't that big. He ain't. Crap. What the? I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry it was in your way. there. You having a ball, ain't you? They bite. They like cabbage. <laughs> I hear you. Good job, baby. Thank you. And all weightless, right? Yep. Yep. Get them, baby. Dang. <laughs> this fish has just stacked in here. You know, Put him in the water. huh? You see? Hold on, hold on. No, I can't. It's all right. You're having fun, ain't you? Mm. I like it, Mama. My honey has fun.
sun's starting to set. We got to hurry up and get back to Wingate's before dark catches us. <laughs> I heard that, baby. We're a long way from Wingate's, too. Uh, we got a lot of stumps to run through, but you know what? We fished We fished a pretty good while today, and right there at the end, you you, you worked on some fish. Yeah, we, uh, we got on a little something. I don't... You know, there was that little patch of cabbage we're calling it. I don't know if it's lily pads that hadn't come up yet. I don't know what it is. It looks like cabbage. And uh, it was just, it was absolutely full of fish. So. Yeah, back around on the back side over there, it was real sandy, and they were just stacked up over there. And we couldn't get that one big female to bite. No, you know, she was grown. That was a giant. It really was. But we still had fun. It's been had, a good day. We've had fun. we fished a lot of different water. We flipped. I caught that big fish on a crankbait. We've caught fish off the bed. We've just... You know, it's been the ultimate day because we've we've done a little bit of it all. That's right, and and there especially, it was it was funny how they wouldn't bite anything but that weightless. Bait. Yeah, yeah, they wouldn't that hit was... anything I threw with a bait. They wouldn't hit my jerk bait. Caught some jackfish on the jerk bait, but not yep. any bass. So. Yeah, that was pretty strange, and uh, we really had a good time today. We really had a, did, and, and I had a good time until I hit you in the face, and I'm really sorry about that. Oh, uh, it's it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but <laughs> as usual, I wound up earlier today. You said just wait. I got I jumped out to a three to nothing lead, even though they were small. It was three to nothing lead, and you come back roaring back and whipped me. <laughs> <laughs> as usual, as usual. Well, but I'm just the bass caddy. You're the pro here, so... Yeah, right. And I'm still getting front-ended. All right. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, baby. We better get before it gets too late. All right. Let's do it.